and Shivani Visri Sadhu is a relationship counsellor. Shivani, you are a relationship uh, counsellor. Is this the pattern that every abusive relationship follows? That it starts with maybe one, a slap, an abuse, you know, a, a verbal abuse, goes to a slap, then escalates yes. to a beating. And if women choose to stay on, if women choose to stay on, uh, in abusive relationships, they could end like Shraddha. And I, I ask you this question because I was reading a survey that is done in America, not in India, this is an American survey, but I'm uh, assuming that abusers follow the same pattern all over the world. It said that 75% women who were, who were in abusive relationships were killed when they tried to leave. Shreya, good evening. Um, so I think uh, let's first understand that uh, abuse, abuse comes in many forms, okay? And for, unfortunately, people think that, okay, uh, domestic violence is abuse, but abuse comes in many forms like uh, mistrust, uh, controlling behavior, jealousy, manipulation, uh, disrespect. Disrespect is one of the most profound relationship killers we see in couple therapy all throughout, day in and day out. Um, controlling behavior, lack of support, uh, social isolation, uh, codependence, financial behaviors, unmet needs. So what happens when you start when you start entering into a relationship, so everything everything looks uh, fine, everything looks hunky-dory in the beginning, but then slowly you start finding these behaviors in the relationship, but, you know, as we call them, red flags. So what happens when you start finding these red flags, you start to ignore them, thinking, okay, it's one of the case, it's not that bad, he's not that uh, inhuman, he's not that sen insensitive, maybe I am overthinking, maybe I am judgmental, towards this person and so on and so forth. But slowly when these things become a pattern, then it becomes very difficult for the woman to stand up for herself and tell the person, okay, I cannot be in this relationship. And that's when all the toxicity starts to escalate. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Adwar, Jivani Sadhu, give me an honest answer to the question I'm going to ask you. Is it worth even trying, trying to mend relationship for example will a relationship counselor help in your experience what is it that you have seen and what would you advise women yes <clears throat> yes I've seen uh, I've seen women uh, who come to me for a therapy for individual therapy they do uh, get help and in the right forms but first I would like to say a few things first like what Advaita said I would endorse that fact get support from wherever you can. Second, speak up for yourself, okay? If you cannot respect and love yourself, nobody else is going to do that for you. It is your responsibility to speak up. Third, have firm boundaries around yourself. Love does not warrant slavery. Love does not warrant coercion. Love does not warrant for sure disrespect. And then I would also uh, suggest any woman who's going through these, uh, uh, these uh, you know, emotional turmoil or physical abuse in the relationship is to identify the red flags. Do not ignore these red flags thinking, okay, this is one of the case because these red flags one day become a carnival. Okay, so do not fall into that trap. Fourth, uh, work on yourself, okay, because sometimes we as women think that, you know, uh, because I might be some, I might be not enough for this man, or there may be something um, wrong in me because of which he, is, he doesn't find me attractive. Do not fall into that trap again. Wo work on yourself, work on your self-esteem, work on your insecurities, work on your patterns, work on your trauma if you have had any in the childhood. Work on yourself. And if if after doing all of these things, it doesn't it doesn't help. I think you should look out for the exit sign because there is no point living in a relationship that is toxic. It is only giving to it's only going to give you uh, pain, misery, helplessness, frustration, so it's social isolation, gaslighting, and it is not worth it. Trust me. Yeah, it's not worth it.